So let's see how to do this. Who wants to tell me what's the first step to factor this? Anyone with the microphone? Basically what you do is you start off by taking the base out of both the sides and putting it basically into one parenthesis. So 125 would be 5 to the third power. And then, let me stop and then, uh, I'm sorry, let me stop you for a second. So you mean uh, you want to see if these are the difference of cubes. Is that what you're, what you're trying to say? Yes. Okay. So you want to you want to break them down. Why? If 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 you can find and then you uh, want to if, uh, if you want to if you can find these are the difference of cube, then we can use a formula for difference of cube. And go ahead. And you said you you, yeah. you were convinced that these are difference of cube. So tell me what would be the first term? You said so the first five. term would be five. Yeah. And then the second would be three. So what happened to that? Those I mean, it, it'll be five a, five a, and then the second one would be three b. Excellent. So. Yes, Sorry, if I uh, raise 5a to the power of 3, I get 125a cubed. If I raise 3 to the power of 3, I get 27b, uh, and then we raise to the power of 3 would be b cubed. So we, uh, we all convinced here that this is a difference of cubes. So I want to see if anybody remembers how to factor difference of cubes. This is a formula you have to memorize. So basically, if you don't know this, you cannot uh, move ahead with this one. So anybody can tell me how to, if you remember the formula, how to uh, factor this? What would be the, in the first Yeah, isn't it, isn't it A plus B? Why did you get plus? If it's minus, it's always minus. So oh, the yeah. First time, okay, yeah. Let me put both of them side by and side. Get to kind of uh, remind you how to do both. If it was sum of Q, the first uh, parenthesis would be a plus b. If it's different sub cube, would be a minus b. Okay. So what would be the second parenthesis? It'll be a squared. Mm -hmm. uh, plus a b. Okay, let's not worry about the sign for a moment. Just tell me what would be a second. Okay. Then, and it would be a b. A b. So it's important to know the second term is a b, not two a b. Some people make a mistake with yeah. the other property. So this is a, b, and the last term would be what? b squared. Okay, so this is easy to remember, guys, right? So you just, uh, the first parentheses matches the first sign here. If it's minus, this is minus. If this is plus, this is plus. And the first parentheses would be a, b, for both of them. And the second parentheses would get a squared, as you see here, matches a, this would be, this would be a squared, the last term would be b squared, and the middle term always would be a b. So if you remember up to this point, the rest is pretty simple. If this is minus, you have to remember all the signs are plus. Okay, and if this is plus, the signs alter between plus and minus, so be plus, minus, plus. So you just have to memorize this formula, and then in this case, now this is a difference of cubes, so I'm going to go ahead and write down the same format. Looks like in the first two terms we're going to copy a, b. So your a is 5a here. Your first term is 5a. Your second term is 3b. Okay, and some, I want somebody else with the microphone tell me if that's the case, what goes into the second parenthesis? What goes here? Anybody? 25a squared. Okay, let's put it in the same formula. I'm going to write it 5a squared. And you're absolutely right. That becomes 25a squared. So let's put 5a squared. So just show that you take the first term and square. So what would be the second term, the middle term? 15. 3b. Okay. Let's write down what it is. It would be 5a times 3b, three right? A yeah. times b. We're going to multiply in a moment, but that's what it is, right? Okay. And the last term would be, you take 3b in square, right? Does that make sense? Okay. You could use the brackets for the other parentheses, but we don't care right now about that. Okay. The sign would be all plus according to the formula. So this is minus, this is plus, this would be plus. So we're done. That's how you factor this, 5a, but a squared, 
plus 15AB plus 9U squared, and this is how you factor difference of cubes.